Hi everyone, welcome to this video where today we're going to be talking about how to calculate the lateral area and surface area of pyramids and cones. You're going to see the formulas are actually super, super similar. We just have a little minor difference and the formulas are really just plug in the values, use your calculator, and you're going to get the same results that I am. So first of all, lateral area we learned in a previous lesson is about the area of the sides or faces that are not a base. So here it says lateral area is equal to one half times the perimeter, perimeter of the base. We learned that value for P in a previous um, lesson. But then this letter L actually stands for the slant height. And the slant height is this length here. So that's a little different. We're used to H being the height of the figure, which would be this measurement but we actually want the height of the triangle, which is one of the um, faces of this figure. And the way we reason why we would do this is that it actually is giving us the area of all four triangles in this square pyramid um, in one shot. So it's one half the perimeter times that slant height. Then when we want to get the surface area, the surface area is going to include all of the lateral area plus the area of the base. So it's the lateral area here plus capital letter B, which we already know in a previous formula is for the area of a base. Now area, I'm sorry, lateral area of a cone, you're gonna see is actually pretty similar. It's pi R, okay? And then also times the lateral, um, the slant height rather, the L. So, and the slant height would be the side here. So the same way you see the slant height on a pyramid, you're gonna see that slant height on this here. Now, surface area would be the outside of this cone plus the area of the circle at the bottom. So this little pi r squared, that's the area for our circle. So it's the lateral area plus the area of the base. Whenever you're thinking about a cone, just kind of think about the lateral area of a cone would be the physical ice cream cone that's empty and you just have the shell, the shell's not closed off on the top. The surface area would be as if you had a closed off cone that you couldn't put any ice cream in or if it was contained in that cone. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna calculate the lateral area and the surface area of this square pyramid. So here's our formula. We need the value of P. P is the perimeter of the base. So four times 10 is gonna give me a perimeter of the base of 40. The slant height, L. So here I see I actually have a 30, 60, 90 triangle built into this pyramid with that little 60 degree angle. I'm not given the, um, the L, the slant height, but I do notice that that's actually the hypotenuse of this 30, 60, 90. So if the entire side length here is 10, then I know that this length is five and that five would be opposite the 30. And we know the relationship between the side opposite the 30 and the hypotenuse is that it's doubled. So my slant height would be five times two, which is 10. So the lateral area would be one half times 40 times 10, which ends up giving us 200 units squared. Now surface area means we take this answer of 200 and we simply add it to the area of the base. Well, the area of the base is just simply 10 by 10 and that would give us 100. And so my surface area is 200 from the lateral area plus 100 from the base, which is 300 units squared. Here we have a triangular pyramid. We can see it has a base of a right triangle and it all goes up here. I am actually given the slant height of six, which is very helpful. So first of all, perimeter. Perimeter of this base, three plus four, which we should recognize as a Pythagorean triple, which would mean the hypotenuse is five. Okay, your classic three, four, five in a right triangle. That means this perimeter has a base of 12, a perimeter of 12 rather. My slant height we see is six. And so this formula is actually pretty quick to plug in. It's one half times the perimeter of that base times my slant height, and I get 36 units squared. Surface area is gonna be that I'm gonna now add the area of the base to that 36. So we know our area formula for a triangle is one half base times height. So one half base times height of that base, which ends up becoming six units squared, okay? So 36 units from my lateral area plus six units of my base is gonna give me 42 units squared. All right, cones, cone formula. P 
pi rl so here i have this cone i see the diameter is nine so that means my radius is half of it which is 4.5 i'm not given my slant height but think about the fact that if this is 4.5 and the height of the cone is 10 i can use the pythagorean theorem to solve for the hypotenuse c so 4.5 squared plus 10 squared would equal that l squared it ends up giving me approximately 10.966 after I do all of the work, which obviously I'm not showing you step by step. We know the Pythagorean theorem. I can then go ahead, substitute in my radius of 4.5, my slant height of 10.966, and I get approximately 155 units squared. <laughs> Surface area would then be the area that I got here, 155, plus the area of the base, the circle. So I know my radius is 4.5. If I go ahead, let the calculator basically do all my work for me, do 4.5 squared times pi plus that 155, I get 218.6 units squared. Last one here, my lateral area. I'm not given the radius, but I am given the fact that this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. The 30 is opposite my radius. I see my hypotenuse is 12. The relationship would be half of 12 is that radius, which would be then 6. My slant height I am given, which is 12. And so that one's actually pretty easy to plug into our formula. And then I'm going to add that onto the area of the circle. We know the radius is 6. So I'm just going to plug that in. And the calculator pretty much does the work for me. I would do 6 squared times pi plus this amount. And I get 339.3 units squared. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.